Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Keep those questions and suggestions coming. I get to them as soon as I possibly can. One of my favorite additions to firmware 1.2.56 is the switch link function. I used it right away on my Billy Gibbons preset, and we'll get to that in a little bit. So what is switch link, and why is it so very, very cool? To put it in the simplest terms, switch link allows you to put together up to four groups of foot switch assignments. Any foot switch that is in a particular group can only be activated when nothing else is on. In other words, when one foot switch is active in a group, all of the other foot switches are bypassed. Okay, but now why is that so very, very cool? Because it opens up even more options when creating presets or even updating old presets. Let's take a look at some of the presets that I made for this video, and then hopefully it'll start making sense. My Switch Link Test 1 preset will be the starting point. We've got the Deluxe Reverb Amp, and then there's four dirt pedals. Green Box, Enchanter, Royal Tone, and the Nashville Overdrive. So right now this rig is set up just like it would be in the real world. You know, in other words, your guitar would get plugged in over at the instrument side, and that would go to the first dirt pedal, and then the four dirt pedals are connected to each other, and then the last pedal gets plugged into the amp. If you turn on one dirt pedal, most likely you'll want to turn it off before moving on to another dirt pedal. I guess you could call that a mild version of pedalboard tap dancing. You know, it's not really a big deal, but let's see how Switch Link can improve this situation. Click on Foot Switch Assign at the bottom of the screen, and then click on Green Box. Now you're at the preset Foot Switch Assignment panel, and it looks just like it did prior to the firmware upgrade. Or does it? Look over to the right and pull the bar down. You'll see a new option, Switch Link. Currently it's set to Off. Click on Off, and you'll get a menu with five options. Off, Switch Link A, B, C, and D. Now at first glance, that probably seems confusing, and you might be thinking, wait a minute, does this mean that I can only set up four switches per preset? I mean, that's at least what I thought. But then I realized that Switch Link A is for one group of foot switches, Switch Link B is for another group of foot switches, and so on. Anyway, back to our preset. We have our five options. We'll choose Switch Link A. This means that the green box foot switch is now part of the Switch Link A group. Let's move on, and hopefully it should start getting clearer. Click the back arrow, and this time click on Enchanter. Click on Switch Link again. And once again, we'll choose Switch Link A. So now the Enchanter foot switch is also part of the Switch Link A group. Let me go ahead and repeat that process for the Royal Tone and the Nashville OD. Now, of course, we hit Save. Now we turn on the green box. And when we hit the Enchanter button, the green box turns off. When we hit the Royal Tone, the Enchanter button turns off. When we turn on the Nashville OD, the Royal Tone button turns off. You can jump from dirt pedal to dirt pedal, and only one pedal will be active at any time. You don't have to turn the first dirt pedal off before moving on to the next one. The Tone Master Pro will do that automatically. Okay guys, here's Switch Link Test 1. This is what it sounds like with none of the pedals on. But let's see what we can do here. None of them stepped on each other. Now is it starting to make sense? Well, let's take it a step further. I've taken that same preset and saved it as Switch Link Test 2, and then I added four delay pedals after the amp. Now with this rig, you only want to have one delay pedal on at a time. We'll assign the top row of foot switches to the delay pedals, but this time instead of adding them to the Switch Link A group, we'll add them to the Switch Link B group.
Now you can jump from delay to delay on the top row and from dirt to dirt on the bottom row. And of course we save our preset. All right, here's the switch link test two guys. Again with nothing on. Now let's turn on green box. And then we'll go through some of the uh, different delays. But now all the foot switches are taken and we're starting to do a little bit of the pedal board tap dance again. Let's see if we can simplify this a bit. Now this is where things start getting really interesting. This next preset, Switch Link Test 3, if we put it together in the real world, it will require a switcher system that can accept eight effect pedals and three of those pedals are stereo. So, you know, you're talking a little bit of money there. So what we're going to do is pair each dirt pedal with a delay pedal. The green box will go with the mono digital delay. The enchanter will go with the stereo echo filter. The royal tone will go with the ping pong delay. And the Nashville overdrive will go with the stereo tape echo. The very first thing that you should do is put all of the pedals in bypass mode. Then let's click on foot switch assign. And we're going to clear out the top row of foot switch assignments. Okay, so now the top row of foot switch assignments has been cleared, and all four foot switches on the bottom row are in bypass mode. Click on green box, click on on off next to type, click on off again. Now if you notice, the green box already has the little blue triangle underneath it. We'll click on digital delay, and now it too has the little blue triangle underneath it. Click on the blue confirm, and now these two pedals will turn off and on together and they're already assigned to the Switch Link A group. I renamed the foot switch label Green Mono. Now I'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the other three foot switch assignments. Okay, we'll hit save again. And now when you hit any of the foot switches, a dirt and delay combination will turn on, and you can go back and forth. All right, let's try this out on the Tone Master Pro. Okay, guys, here's Switch Link Test 3, where we have one dirt pedal paired with one delay pedal. I told you in the beginning of this video that I'd show you how I modded my Billy Gibbons preset. In case you aren't familiar with it, I made a preset that has the eight foot switches set up for eight different ZZ Top songs. Each foot switch has multiple assignments. The one thing that I had to caution people about was that in its original state, if you turned on one of the foot switches, you had to turn it off before you moved to the next one, otherwise it could get to be a mess. And even though I'm the guy that made this preset, I still have slip ups when I use it and I forget to turn off the current foot switch from time to time before moving on to a different foot switch. Then I have to switch to a different preset to clean up the mess then go back in and try again. 
Now that could cause a train wreck at a gig. But now all I had to do was assign each foot switch to the switch link A group. So only one foot switch is active at any given time. Have mercy, Miss Percy. All right, let's try this out. Now here's my old version of my Billy Gibbons preset. And like I was saying that you, if you hit one switch, for instance, but forgot to turn that one off and then hit this, it's a mess. So here's my new version. From the surface it looks the same, but then when you go to the foot switch mode, you can see all the dim options are on. And you can switch from scene to scene or snapshot to snapshot, whichever way you want to call it. Okay, now you should know why I say this update is very, very, very cool. It allows for a lot more flexibility in the deeper presets, but as we saw, we can even use it just to turn off and on four different uh, distortion pedals in a simple preset. I'll be porting some of my older fractal presets that I made, and Switch Link will be figuring into them an awful lot, I can guarantee you that. I'll have all new content from the firmware update this coming Friday. You don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great week. I will see you on Friday.